touchdown. From the 31, Mayfield. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And able to get this one across the 45. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. But Baker Mayfield, only 6'1", but he can certainly sling it. And we saw evidence of that right there. And we knew that this offense was going to try to put pressure on the secondary. That was something they talked about with us. Reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Steps away to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Miles Garrett able to get in there and run him down for what's going to be a loss of fifth and a challenge basically from the other side of town at second and a country mile. Looking deep for Julio. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And the Browns are going to have it here at their own 15. And they set themselves behind the chains trying to get it on third and seven. Mayfield looks to throw. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Caleb Farley. And the Tiger. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. And he's given his guys a shot from late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it. Yeah, easy to second guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind it. And this is caught for a Browns touchdown by Landry. Jarvis Landry as the first half is winding down. And the Browns have taken the lead. Oh, and Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, Clay. Almost to be a case of, you know, quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. Yeah, he'll get the catch, he'll get the yardage, but doesn't get what he really wants. Now Mayfield on fourth down. Got a man, it's Schwartz complete. And he will have a first down. Handoff comes to Chubb. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. On the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack the... And this is caught. Touchdown. Jarvis Landry, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. And that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game. They'll try and wind down some clock with Chubb. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, the lead late in the fourth, but Mayfield's going to throw it. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 33 seconds remaining. And they take a knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd. Isn't the fans in the crowd for the kid?